welcome to Learning in Language Arts with Mrs. Jones. Reading comprehension strategy today will be making inferences. We will focus on our GVC number two. Students will read and find information from a sixth grade text. When we finish this lesson, you will be able to define inference and make an inference from a picture. So what is an inference and how do I make one? An inference is a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning beyond what can be physically observed. An inference is found through the process of inferring. Inferring requires us to ask questions and make conclusions as we hear, view, and read new information. You might say we are guessing, but these guesses are supported by evidence, which is the clues around us and our own knowledge. So I want to point out some vocabulary here. Boys and girls, we have the word inference and the word inferring. The difference in these two words is the part of speech that it plays. Inference is a noun and inferring is the action or the verb. So as you are talking, um, we want to use these words correctly. So let's see how we can infer with pictures. We are constantly inferring or drawing conclusions through the things we view and read. Oh no, what do you think happened? What conclusions can you draw about what you just saw in that picture? Pause the video and write on your notes your conclusion. You have just made an inference. Let's check our thinking by asking four questions. As we go through these questions, please write down your answers on your notes sheet. The first question we ask is, what is my inference? You should have already written this down. Your inference might be something like, the man slipped on the wet floor and fell, spreading his papers all over. Now remember, inference is from your perspective, also from your um, background knowledge, so you may not have the exact same inference as I. The next question would be, what were the clues? So let's look at the picture again and think of the clues. Write down on your paper the clues that you see that support the inference that you made. So some of these clues you saw might have been his face seems surprised. He's on the floor, the caution sign, the floor is shiny, and his papers are loose everywhere. So these clues support the idea that perhaps he slipped and fell. The third clue is to check your thinking. Do the clues support your inference and does it make sense? Finally, do I need to change my thinking? An example of how we would change, um, why we would need to change our thinking was perhaps in this picture we first thought he tripped. But as we go back and look at the clues, like the caution sign and the shiny floor, we can, um, we can further deduce that he probably slipped because of a, of a wet floor. And that doesn't mean our first um, inference was wrong. It just means we've collected more information and now we are changing our thinking. So now you will practice by using your notes to infer possible scenarios to the following slides. As you do so, I want you to remember to support your inference with evidence or clues from the pictures Check your thinking and then, if needed, change your original conclusion. Picture number one. Pause the video and write your inference. Picture number two. Pause the video and write your inference. Picture number three, pause the video and write your inference. Finally, boys and girls, just a reminder that this lesson was to define inference 
and to make inferences from pictures. Hopefully you were able to do these things. If not, please review this video or go visit um, with your teacher at the teacher table. Um, thank you for learning in language arts with Mrs. Jones. We'll see you next time.